but we are fucked. They, <laughs> there's, how are you going to fight back against it? I mean, here's the reality. You say, uh, if they push censorship more, we'll fight back and we won't let them. Who, who are you going to tell? You can't go through mainstream sources. CNN, MSNBC, fucking newspapers. They don't give a shit what you have to say. They fucking hate you. Remember all those fake news jokes? They don't like you at all. So you got to use the internet. Well, what portion of the internet are you going to use? Are you going to use YouTube? You're banned. Facebook? You're banned. Twitter? You're banned. Are you going to go on Gab? Well, we're going to get their servers shut down. Are you going to go on some alternative site? We're going to pull their funding. Oh, you want to monetize yourself? Oh, nope. Your PayPal's gone. Uh, your, your Patreon's gone. Visa and MasterCard have stepped in. Your bank won't do business with you anymore. His bank refused to do business with him based on news reports. They're cutting your they're cutting your financial access off. It's it's insane. So where are you going to go? Oh, you're going to go to your quarantined websites. You're going to go post about it on 4chan. Okay. It's never going to leave 4chan. You can't get a groundswell of support to fight against censorship when you are so censored, nobody can hear you screaming about censorship. All these websites are cutting you off. You'll never reach the mass majority of people because they are being insulated from you as we speak. Ah, damn, is that depressing. But the reality of what's coming down the pipeline should scare the shit out of you. Because it's happening everywhere.